Hello, and welcome to No Let's Play. Me, Game Rule 6 of Red Dead Redemption 2. On last Let's Play, we broke Micah, I think his name is, out of jail. And then helped a lady learn how to shoot. I think we already did that. Good job's hard to find. A good job? Taking your lungs for a couple of dollars a week? Speaking Getting it from all sides, huh? Believe me, Taylor. You don't know the half of it. We already did that before, didn't we? Oh, not that right one. That idiot. I love him and I hate him. Every day, covered in soot, coughing half the night. <laughs> Well, the capitalists would say, let me look at this memo. Uh, if it it's not good enough, then... You followed. No, was you followed? I said no. Then you shouldn't work. Okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh... You don't look so good. What is wrong with Tuberculosis. Wrong with me. I mean, plot. And I inside you, ain't. I'm just a realist, Fran. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? Oh, yeah, Molly. A minute, Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. <laughs> we don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us penned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money, but revenge. Like, there's a lot of guys of trying to. Come on. That we need to keep an eye on. Better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. Like I, I can't remember. Is who the fuck is Cornwall? Just a simple social call. <laughs> is he the guy that attacked us when we wrangled some or hustled some sheep? No, I can't get my weapons. Needs to be said. He has been hunting us since Valentine. Okay, so I guess that's the guy. Hosea got killed. His sugar business. I don't remember that. Destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur. It's his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar. His oil. His law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We wanted men. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you? No, oh, this is gonna go bad. We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him. And we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out. And he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is arriving at dawn. We'll wait it out here. Get down behind these crates so no one sees us. So wait, are we making a deal? Also, those guys over there did see us. Like, I'm guessing this game doesn't end like GTA 5, where you clean house of all the bad guys, if you choose that route. The death sentence route. On a 
thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I toss a uh, dynamite there. We've killed way more than just these guys. And they don't know we're coming. Tell him I, won't borrow I can dead all these people before they draw all their guns. No, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here. And leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Dinsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. <laughs> He's like, dude, what, what the fuck are you doing? Want, sir? I'm not... Quite sure just yet. Your impudence. Hopefully the Pinkertons are well out of sight. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. This capitalism is not robbing. I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, ten thousand dollars, and safe passage out of here. I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. Oh, good. No noise, Arthur. No boys. Oh, shit. Pick your tongues. What the hell have you done, Dutch? Okay. <clears throat> now, this is fine. If you didn't stand right in the way, then yeah, things would be finer. Come on! Mike is going after those papers! Let's find him and get out of here! What are you doing, lady? I have no idea where they're coming from. Oh, now I see him. I think there's also a guy up here. Just gonna at least move on all these things. Actually, high velocity, more damage, more range. A lot of guys up here. Oh, that's another guy. <laughs> you good? Shot him in the nuts. Still alive though. Oh no wait, he died. Come on. 
What are the papers for? I hear somebody, but I don't see anyone. But he's dead. Oh, thanks for taking my spot. Let's get the hell out of this place. I'll kill you. Uh, no, 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 don't want to bring that out. That's a bit too slow. I just want to, yeah, do that. We can take the horses from that coach. Okay. Lost your minds. Oh, I've felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. As long as there were uh, no other, no after negative repercussions, I feel like that what we did was fine. Because Cornwall, I believe, is dead. And Pinkerton's no longer have somebody that's hiring them. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Trying to, but my horse really likes this tree. Really, the guy we're supposed to kill is right in front of them. Again with the trees. Maybe we should pick with uh, those ones. Oh, come on, horse. Move with some kind of speed. Most crazy shit, but one of our guys dead. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. So what was the fuck with the papers? Sooner or later, Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch. It won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. Oh, there's a... Is that a thing there? No. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from... Well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Micah! You look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. Arthur, you go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. Well, hopefully my horse is nearby.
Oh, that's where... Okay. Oh, hopefully there's some food over there. Be nice if there was some food. You know, some place where we could eat. I guess maybe I can see if I can cook my own damned food. Nope, not here. Okay, seriously. Is there a place where I can eat food? Cook it? All that stuff? Anybody? No? It is what it is, I guess. Well, that's going to be the end of this. Let's play, I guess. So anyways, please comment, cause I like comments, tell me what you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise. If you like my YouTube, and would like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out the videos that grow. And please remember to spay new your animals have control, the pet population. <sighs> Let's read this, uh, nope here. Or a letter. Somehow it got here, though. Dear sir. You were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation, the main house and all its stores. Oh, the you love thing. No more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. Also, what is up on my left hand? Did I slit my wrist? Did I flay myself and there's blood coming out? Kinda. Yeah, what's uh this guy's thing? Reverend Swanson. Hmm. Now well, that's gonna be the end of this. Let's play. I'm gonna look up how much more episodes there are left. So it's got it. I think I said yeah, Spain your house. And until next time, me, you know six, Red Dead Redemption two. See ya.